Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Please ignore the state of me. This is what I look like when I get up in the morning. I've got no makeup on, my hair's not done and yeah I've just come into the living room. I've got loads to share with you over the next couple of days so I thought it would be fun to do a bit of a vlog and show you what I get up to. So I've mentioned in my previous videos that I've got some meetup groups that I'm going to over the next three nights. So I want to take you along with that, show you what I'm going to wear, get ready with me, that kind of thing. But I've also got some stuff to do in the days as well. So I just thought it'd be nice to spend the next four days with you film this and yeah i will put it up on monday so some of the stuff i'm going to show you the videos will go up beforehand but i just thought it'd be nice to share a couple of days with you and you can see what i get up to in my life so today is wednesday the 19th of may and i've got a lot to do today so i'm working on a project that i've been working on for quite a while the craft project and i need to crack on with it this afternoon so i'm going to spend a couple of hours on it this afternoon it needs to be ready for tomorrow so i've got a lot to do and then i need to get ready because i'm out tonight i'm going for a meal at pizzeria so i need to get start getting ready late afternoon but we'll start with the crafting first so i'll show you these now but you would have seen the video go up on thursday now i've been working on these statues for quite a few months and i just can't seem to get them how i want them but this is where I'm up to as of today. I've got two of them and I've made these using Christmas decorations and some other bits and bobs. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving how they look at the moment. I love the cage with the flowers on. I think it looks really pretty, but I need to do something at the top to tie it all together. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. So I'm going to get all my craft stuff out. I'm going to get cracking on this. And then in a couple of hours, I'm going to start to get ready for tonight. I'm so excited, very nervous, but I am very excited. So my plan is I need to grab a bath. I need to wash my hair. I need to do all my makeup, pick out what I'm wearing. And yeah, oh, my hair, my hair. It's so long now. It's so long. It needs sorting. Um, but, but yeah, I am looking forward to today. So yeah, I'm going to get the craft stuff out. I'm going to spend some time doing my craft video and I will be back in a few hours and I'll show you a bit of an update. So I'll see you in a bit. Now. So it's a couple of hours later. It's late afternoon and I finished my project. It took me about three hours to finish the rest of it off with filming and I've tidied everything away now, which I'm really happy about. So this is what they look like finished. And like I said, this video will have been up on Thursday, so you would have already seen these. But I am really happy with them. It's took me forever to make them. I just couldn't get them the way that I wanted. I obviously have two of them, and they are for my bathroom. I haven't tried them in there yet, but I will have a look a little bit later on. But first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and have a nice hot bath. I'm not feeling too well today, guys. My stomach's really off, so I'm going to go and have a nice hot bath. Then I'm going to wash my hair, I'll pick out what I'm wearing, I think I know what I'm going to wear and then I'll paint my nails and start to get myself ready. So we'll head off into the bathroom and I'm going to run myself a nice hot bath and I'm hoping it's going to help with my stomach. I've taken some paracetamols about half an hour ago and it's not really seemed to have done anything but yeah, um, it is what it is and I'm hoping the bath will help so yeah, we'll go into the bathroom. <laughs>
are on compared to what it was before i've had my bath i've washed my hair and i've straightened most of it i've just got the top section tied to the top of my head and i do that after i've done my makeup so i'm pretty much got an hour to get myself finished and get to the restaurant so i've decided what i'm gonna wear and what i'm wearing is this top from Primark originally and I paid a pound for it in a charity shop. Now this isn't the kind of thing that I would normally buy um, but I did like the colours in it and I wasn't too sure if it was going to suit me or not but once I got it home and I got it on I absolutely love this on so I'm really glad that I picked it up and I tried it because it really does look beautiful on. I don't know when this was brought out in Primark, I don't know if it's quite old or something that's a little bit more recent, but yeah, I absolutely love this. And then with it, I'm going to wear my black suit jacket. And this is the one that I picked up recently in a thrift haul. And it's originally from Planet and I paid £2 for it from RSPCA. And then I'm just going to wear some black tailored next quite long trousers and again i picked these up in a charity shop i paid a pound for them they are in a size 14 um and they're beautiful on really long um and yeah i'm looking forward to wearing them and then for shoes i'm not 100 percent sure i don't know if i'm gonna wear my black shoes that i picked up recently again thrifting i paid two pound fifty for them they are originally from dorothy perkins and i put these on before and they're really comfy um so yeah i might wear them i did like the idea of wearing another pair of shoes i've got these red ones that i picked up again from the charity shop for two pound fifty originally from primark and these i think would look really nice with the top but the only thing is they're really uncomfortable and i've got a bit of walking to do so i'm not too sure if i'm going to put these on or not i think i'm just going to go with the black ones so I'm going to go in the bathroom, I'm going to do my face, do my skincare routine and sort myself out and then start doing my makeup and then I'll tell you a little bit about how today, well tonight came about and where I'm going and why I'm going so yeah I'll uh, do that as I'm doing my makeup. Hello again, so this, I've never filmed in the bathroom before like this so I hope it turns out okay but for those that are interested I've just done my foundation and I'm using the using the Match Perfection Rimmel London and this is in the colour ivory and I've just spent about six minutes blending out my foundation and yeah tonight, so tonight I'm going out um I'm doing a meetup group so for those who watch my videos you know that I mentioned that I recently joined meetup and I need to get out of the house a little bit more and tonight is my first meal out in about five years. Um, for the people that know me they know that I suffer with anxiety and I find it very hard to be out of the house especially in situations where I um, am not in control so going for a meal is one of them um, so I've avoided it for so long and now I just need to get out more I just need to look after myself a bit more get out more do things to get me out the house and hopefully make some friends I mean I've lived here now for about six years and um, I don't know anyone um, which is really strange but I just need to get out a little bit more meet some people and hopefully make some friends so i'm going out for a meal tonight we're meeting at seven o'clock it's at this little pizzeria place that opened in my town last year actually it opened just in between lockdown um the second the was it the second and third lockdown or it might have been the first and second lockdown and um yeah i'm really looking forward to going i'm extremely nervous um about it obviously but I know that once I do it, it will be fine. And I think it's just the walking in somewhere and not actually knowing anyone um, and finding the people that I'm meeting. And once I get that out of the way, I think I'll be all right. So we're going, like I said, to this little pizzeria place. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm absolutely starving as well. I've not eaten anything today. I've been too busy. I've been trying to get the project finished today which I managed to do and I'm happy with it 
but I still need to edit everything. So I'm going to do that tomorrow when I get up. Um, that's the plan for that. I also need to go to the post office tomorrow. So I'm going to have to go to the post office. I need to work out because I didn't get to work out today. Um, so that's what's going to be happening tomorrow. So tomorrow, up, work out, post office, come back, editing, get that uploaded. And then I'm out again tomorrow night. But tomorrow night, I'm only going for drinks. So um, I'm not going for a meal. We're just going to Weatherspoons, and that's with a different group. And then on... That brings us to Friday and then on Friday we're going to an Italian again with a different group and I'm going to probably have pizza again. So I've got a few nights out and I'm looking forward to taking you along with me. Now, like I said, I'm not 100% sure how much I'm going to film while I'm out. I'm already nervous as it is. I'm already nervous as it is going out um, and being out and having food. Um, and I don't know if I want to put on the added stress of filming as well, especially around people that I don't know. But I probably will take some pictures so you can see what it's like. And yeah, I'm just hoping it all goes okay. And I'm really glad that I joined me up again. I used to be part of it when I lived in Manchester City Centre. I'm originally from Manchester, if you can't tell because of the accent. Um, so I used to go to a lot about, I'd say about seven or eight years ago. And then when I moved to where I am now, um, I had a look to see if there was any meetup groups and there wasn't any in this area. And then I had a look at the beginning of January because I knew that I needed to make a change in my life. And luckily enough, somebody has started three different groups in my local area. So now I've got somewhere to go and hopefully make some friends. Now, they are a lot older than me, the people that I'm going out with. Um, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just going to be nice to be able to sit down and speak to someone and have a conversation and be out the house um, for a little while. But yeah, I'm not used to going out in the evening. I'm normally, I normally eat at about between about half four and five. And then I'm in bed by half eight, nine o'clock reading. Um, so it's going to be strange being out later than that. Um, but I am looking forward to it. And yeah, I hope it goes all right. So my plan is to finish getting ready. And then I'm going to... do my hair I'm going to get dressed go out and then when I get back I'll tell you how it went and I'll uh, get myself into my pajamas and then I can get back in bed and I can finish reading my book I am reading games Game of Thrones the first book at the moment I'm about three quarters of the way through and I've still got a little bit to go and I'm hoping to finish it by Saturday because I've got to do my book review at the end of the month. And up to now, I've only read two books this month because I've been spending so much time reading Game of Thrones. So, yeah, I'm hoping to get that finished by Saturday and then I can start something else and hopefully get another book read before the end of the month. So I'm going to finish doing my makeup. Um, I'm not going to show you me doing all my makeup. I'm not very good at makeup. I just do what I always do, exactly the same thing and um it seems to work okay for me so yeah um i will be back once i have my makeup finished my hair done and i'm dressed and i'll show you what i look like when i've got everything out all right see you in a bit hey guys and this is what i'm wearing so i've gone for the black shoes just because they're a lot comfier and then i've got my next black Trousers that I paid a pound for in the charity shop. I've got my Planet suit jacket, which again I paid two pound for and I absolutely love. And then I'll show you this top. This is the top originally from Primark that was only a pound and I absolutely love it. It's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I'm pretty much all dressed up and ready to go. So I've just got about 10 minutes to wait and then I can set off. But yeah, I hope you like what I'm wearing. I'm really happy with it. I mean, the jacket, the top, 
the pants was four pound and then the shoes were two pound fifty so for six fifty i think i don't look half that bad so yeah um i will let you know how it goes once i get back but yeah i've done all my hair and my makeup i've got a little bit of jewelry on nothing special and yeah i am uh, all ready to go so yeah really happy all right good morning everyone it's actually thursday morning i didn't film last night when i got home it was a little bit later than i thought it was gonna be i got in about 10 o'clock and by the time i took on my makeup off and everything i just really wanted to get in bed and read so i didn't film when i got back plus it was dark as well so the filming wouldn't have been too great but it is thursday morning and i had a fabulous time last night it was really good i enjoyed myself so much i was nervous and it was strange being out but yeah everyone was so lovely there were six of us all together and yeah my anxiety was fine i really enjoyed myself i didn't film anything just because i felt so self-conscious being around like five other people that i didn't know and i didn't want to get my camera out but i did take a picture of what i had to eat and i'll show you that in a little while but yeah it was really nice and we were talking to the person that owns it and he was saying that he opened it just before the first lockdown they were open for four weeks and then we went into lockdown and they didn't open again until monday so it's fairly new and yeah it was really really good it was a lovely place nice and quiet the staff were really friendly and yeah i had an amazing time i was a little bit nervous we were sat on this really long table that was pushed up against the wall and I ended up being right against the wall. So I felt a little bit closed in. I could have been better if I'd have sat at the end, but I did enjoy it. Um, it was really nice and it made me realise how much I have miss having a drink. I really would have liked to have been able to have a glass of wine, but unfortunately I can't. So I just had some cordial, I had lime and water and I got a pizza, a Hawaiian and a portion of chips. So I'll show you what it looks like. And yeah, it was probably one of the best pieces that I've ever had. I would definitely go back again. And I am looking forward to going back again at some point. I might take my new gentleman when I finally get to meet him. I think that'd be a really nice night out. So yeah, um, it was brilliant. And I'm looking forward to tonight. So today, oh, it's horrible outside. <laughs> it's absolutely raining. And as you can tell, I've got my coat on, so I'm just about to head out. I need to pop to the post office. I was going to have a quick walk around the shops. And I mean, a quick walk. I've got so much to do today. I need to edit today's video. I need to reply to everybody's wonderful comments that you've all left. So I need to do that before I start to get ready to go out and then the video will be uploaded while I am out in the pub tonight. So yeah, I've got a fair bit to do. So I might pop into my favourite charity shop, but I don't know if I will or not. But yeah, I've got to go out in the rain and I'm really not looking forward to it. So I'm going to go and do that. And I also need to get some ironing done today. I've got a pile of ironing, so that needs doing. And yeah, there's just so much to do. So I'm going to head on out and go to the post office. So yeah. Let's go and do this. Not looking forward to it, but we're going to have to go and do it. So, yeah, let's go for a walk. Right, guys. So, it's a lot later in the day. Um, most of my day is consisted of editing um, and replying to comments. I What else have I done? I went to the post office and got absolutely soaking wet. It's torrential rain outside. It's been like that all day. It's still like that. So yeah, I was a bit unsure about tonight, but I'm going to go because I said I'd go, um, but I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. I'm not 100% sure. I won't be getting dressed up because it's just not nice at all. Um, what else have I done? So I did my editing and I've replied to some comments. I've still got a few more that I need to reply to. Video is completely edited and uploaded, but I just need to do a few little bits on YouTube before it goes live at half six. Um, I need to have something to eat. We're not eating tonight. So I need to have something to eat before we go, which I think I will have cheese on toast because I haven't got enough time to be messing about in the kitchen. I've done my hair, um, which I don't know why I've bothered because by the time I get to the pub, it's going to be an absolute mess. I just need to do the top section. I've done my nails. I just want to show you this. This is the makeup gallery time to shine quick dry nail polish from poundland and this is in the color 
latte and I've had this for a while and I've never used it before and I've used it a couple of times in the last few days and yeah I absolutely love this this might be my new favorite color of nail varnish so I'm really happy that I picked this up and I'm going to see what other ones they've got but yeah this is latte number five and yeah I'm really happy with this so you're going to see me wear this quite a lot I am not going to get to do all my ironing today um there's loads of it so I'll probably end up doing some tomorrow but I think I'm just going to wear jeans and I might just put this black polo neck on and my black leather jacket and some jewellery and call it a day and wear my black boots. So I think that's what I'm going to wear. But I'm going to do a little bit more ironing. I'm going to make some cheese on toast and then I'm going to finish getting ready and I'll show you what I end up wearing eventually. I'm sorry that I've not filmed that much today. I've just been really busy with editing. Um, didn't help that I had to go out and get absolutely soaked this morning. But um, yeah, tomorrow I... What am I doing tomorrow? I'm not doing anything tomorrow. I need to get some stuff done around the house. My house is an absolute tip. I need to plan my next craft video, which I think I've got an idea. So we'll talk about that a little bit more. And then obviously I'm going out for a meal tomorrow night as well. So um, yeah, I will see you in a little bit once I've finished ironing and we can go on out to the pub. I'm only going to Weatherspoon, so it's not going to be absolutely fantastic, but it's chance to be out around company and i'm going to enjoy it so yeah i will uh, see you in a little while right guys so i'm all ready to go out it's horrible outside so i wasn't going to get dressed up tonight so i've just got a pair of jeans on these are from next i actually paid a pound for them in a charity shop i absolutely love the length of these they're so close to the floor i really like long pants i've got quite long legs so i have to get long pants anyway but yeah, really happy with these. And then I've just got a black polo neck jumper on. And this is originally from Marks and Spencers. And I'm not too sure if I paid £2 for it. Oh, it was a pound. I'm not 100% sure. And then I've just got some jewellery on just to add a little bit of colour and my matching necklace. I've straightened my hair, but it's... I'm going to tie it up and then when I get there, I'll take it down and hopefully it'll still be straight. And then the only other thing that I'm going to put on is my leather jacket. So I'll grab that. I've just got my leather jacket on. You would have seen this quite a few times in my videos. I got it quite recently. I paid £4 for it from a charity shop. I love all the gold detail on it, on the arms and the way that it has mesh in between the leather on the sleeves. I really like that. So yeah, I am ready. I'm going to set off now. I'm going to go and enjoy having a couple of drinks in the pub. Again, no alcohol. I can't drink alcohol, but I'll have a couple of J2Os. And it's more about just being out and being around people. So, yeah, I am not 100% completely dressed up, but made a little bit of an effort. And I'm going to go out and see what time I get back. If it's late, I'll just catch you in the morning. But if I get back and it's still all right, likewise, I will... Uh, film and let you know how it went so yeah I will see you in a bit guys good morning how is everybody doing as I said last night I probably wasn't going to film when I got back home and I didn't I just got myself undressed took all my makeup off did my skin and then I got in bed and I did some reading so um, today is going to be a lot more chilled. I'm going to get my ironing done. That's the plan for this morning. And then I think I'm going to just get on the bed and read for a couple of hours. Um, I'm so close to finishing the first game of Thrones book. And I really want to get that finished so that I can get on to reading my next book but yeah um very chilled day and then later on this afternoon i'm gonna do the getting ready pit i need to wash my hair again and the weather is still pants outside so i'm not too sure what i'm going to wear but yeah last night was really good um one thing i will say is it was absolutely freezing in weather spoons they obviously didn't have any heating on and I don't know if it was because I was wet by the time I got there, but yeah, it was pretty cold. So it wasn't the most comfortable place to sit for a couple of hours, but everyone that I met was really nice. There was five of us all together. And yeah, I had a really nice time. I nearly bought myself a non-alcoholic beer, but I decided not to bother in the end. Um, I just had some orange and passion fruit j2o's and yeah it was just nice um i got back at about nine o'clock 
and was so happy to get snuggled up in bed and to read but tonight we're going to an Italian and when I was looking at the menu the first time um, when the event was first put on um, they didn't have a deal on or anything like that it was just obviously you pay for each course but there was a message popped on last night by the person who runs it Janet and um, apparently on a Friday night they're doing free courses for £12.50 so that'll be nice and I had a free course meal for a long time um, I don't even know if I could eat free courses in total but I'm gonna give it a go so I'm thinking possibly prosciutto to start off with and then my favourite which is carbonara and then I'm sure I'll be able to manage a dessert afterwards um, and yeah I'm really looking forward to it so I'm just going to relax this afternoon once I've got this done and then take my time getting ready and yeah I think it was going to be a nice day tomorrow what am I doing tomorrow tomorrow I'm volunteering first thing in the morning um, so I'll go and do a couple of hours volunteering and then I was hoping that the weather was going to be nice um, because I was hoping to go and watch the cricket but I think it might have been cancelled now um, I just really wanted to spend the day out of the house and just relax so my plan was originally to go and watch the cricket and take my book with me and just read for a bit but if it does turn out nice and the cricket has been cancelled I think I'm just going to go and sit in the park so yeah that's going to be tomorrow's day and then um, that's my last night out for quite a while um, I've got I think yeah I don't think I've got anything until I get back from going to see my sister at the beginning of next month so um, yeah it's been nice these last few days and I will keep a look out on Meetup and see if anything new to pops up but yeah I'm really glad that I decided to do this and um just gives me something to look forward to and break up the week instead of just the only time that I go out when is when I go shopping or when I volunteer so yeah it's been really really nice so I'm gonna do all this and then I'm gonna get my book out and read and I don't think I'll finish the book today it'll definitely be finished by tomorrow so yeah and I've got my winter is coming t-shirt I use this just to sleep in and yeah looking forward to getting back into the book so I will see you in a couple of hours guys right guys so I need to leave um I read for quite a while this afternoon and yeah I didn't leave myself very much time to get myself sorted but I managed to do everything bath wash my hair all that kind of stuff and I'm ready to go um yeah I ended up reading most of the afternoon I've only got four chapters left so I'm looking forward to getting back and finishing that off tonight but I just thought I'd show you quickly what I'm wearing so the weather again is still raining, it's not stopped raining now for two days. I'm just wearing a pair of black pants, these are from Next. I got them from a charity shop for a pound. I had these on on Wednesday night for about two hours, so I just put them on again today. And then what I'm wearing is, I've got a black vest top on, and I'm not too sure if you can see, but I've got this sheer top that's beaded and it's in an art deco style in gold and black and I absolutely love this. I've never wore this before. Um, again, I picked it up in a charity shop. I think I paid a pound for it. I've had it years um, and I thought it was time to wear it. So yeah, I've just got that on. Then I've got my cuff gold bracelet that I picked up from a charity shop for 150. I've got another bracelet that I paid a pound for. And then I've got this necklace that I picked up in a charity shop and I think I paid £2.50 for this. So my outfit, when I put my suit jacket on, will have cost a total of £4 and my jewellery was more expensive than what I'm actually wearing. So I'm going to pop my suit jacket on. So this is the suit jacket that I got from the RSPCA that I paid £2 for and it is originally from Planet and I do love this. I, it's too cold to not wear a jacket, so I've had to put a jacket on it. And at the moment, this is the only black one that I've got that's clean at the moment. So um, I've got a couple of others that are waiting to be washed and I've just bought a new one as well. Again, from a charity shop, I only paid a pound for it and I'll show you in my next thrift haul. And I'm gonna put my winter coat on, so I'm gonna go and grab that and I'll show you my winter This coat. is my winter coat and it's my favorite coat that I own. And again, this was thrifted. I paid £10 for it from Sue Ryder when I was working there and I love the length of it, it's three quarter length 
and yeah I just love this coat this neckline is beautiful and it fastens just with a tie around the waist like so and yeah I love this it was originally from Harvey Nicks um I think it's great planes the make of it but yeah I've had this for years and I bring it out every year I love it and when I have to get rid of it I'm going to be really upset because it is definitely one of my favorite coats as well as my new leather jacket so I am all ready I'm hoping this will keep me dry till I get there I don't want to be sat ringing wet like I was last night in weather spoons but yeah I'm all ready I'm going to grab my umbrella my bag and then I am going to set off so I'll take some pictures of what I have to eat and yeah I'll probably be back tomorrow morning before I set off for work and uh yeah I'll check in with you guys and let you know how it goes so yeah excited for tonight three courses not had three courses for so long but yeah it should be fun and I better go because otherwise I'm gonna be late good morning how is everybody doing so I'm absolutely shattered this morning I got in quite late last night um, yeah, last night was really good. So we went for the Italian. There was 12 of us in total. We were sat in three tables of four and everybody was really lovely. Now I'd been on a meetup with these people before and there was a few people that I knew, but I wasn't sat with them. But yeah, everyone was really, really nice. We had three courses for 12 95 which was amazing. And the food was beautiful um yeah it was really nice very good portions i was surprised at the portions i couldn't eat all mine um i had bruschetta to start off with and then i had carbonara for my main meal and then i had ice cream for my dessert as well um i ate all the bruschetta i didn't eat all the carbonara it was lovely it's probably one up there with one of the best carbonaras that i've ever had and it was so rich i just couldn't eat it all and then i just finished it off with some ice cream as well and they were really good because we pre-ordered what we were having because there were so many of us um and when we pre-ordered it it wasn't three meals for it wasn't three courses for 12.95 so we just pre-ordered what we wanted and when we got there they said that if we wanted we could change our order which we thought was really nice and not only that if we had ordered something beforehand and we decided that was what we wanted to still have they said they would include that in the 12.95 which was really nice they didn't have to do that they were so accommodating lovely the staff and very welcoming and yeah it was a really good night I didn't get home until 11 o'clock, which is really quite late for me. I'm normally going to sleep at 11 o'clock. I'm normally in bed by 8, half 8, 9 o'clock, reading, and then by 11, half 11, I'm ready for bed. So I didn't get in till 11. And I think with my anxiety, um, it's been really good. I've really enjoyed the meals. I've been a little bit nervous, but my anxiety has been all right. But last night my anxiety was quite bad and it was when I was walking home. I was walking home obviously in the dark and it was quite late and there wasn't many people about. One of the ladies did offer to give me a lift but I left quite early compared to everybody else. Everybody was still having coffee and sat down talking um, but I knew I needed to leave because I had to be up this morning to go to the charity shop to volunteer so she offered me a lift and i said no it's okay don't worry about it because i didn't want to stay any later than i already was um so i did walk back and i was a little bit nervous walking back and getting back into my flight and it being completely dark so it did knock my anxiety a little bit but i was all right and i'm glad i did it and now that i've done it once i know i can do it again so yeah um a really good night so i haven't got any more meetups now for another week i think um, I have put my name down for one on Wednesday night, but I'm on the wait list. So, um, if somebody cancels, then hopefully I'll get on that and that's for a meal and a pub. Um, so we'll see if I get on that, but if not, um, I'm quite all right until I get, um, back from my sisters. I think most of the ones that I'm going to do are back when I get back from the sisters. When I go to visit her up in Cleveland at the beginning of the month, so this morning like i said i'm absolutely exhausted i'm just about to set off now and go and volunteer so i'm going to go and volunteer for a couple of hours and then i'm not i need to pop to poundland i need to get some more masks so i think i'm going to do that after work and then i might just have a little bit of a walk around and then come back and then i've got two chapters left in my book i didn't get to finish it last night 
um it was about 12 o'clock and i had to put the book down i was like i need to go to sleep because otherwise i'm not going to get up so i've got two chapters left so i'm going to do that when i get back i'm going to finish that off and then i can start a new book tonight and i'm just going to power around the flat thing so yeah i'm going to head off to work and i will see you in a little while so yeah Hey everyone, so it's about half past four in the afternoon and I'm back home now. I did my volunteering, I popped up to Poundland, I got a new mask and I also had a quick look around the charity shops as well and I came home with a huge bag full of stuff which I'm going to save for Thursday's video so I will share that. I'll have a thrift haul for you on Thursday and yeah, oh I went to Asda as well, I needed to go food shopping so I went and did that and then I came back and I got my pyjamas on and I read the rest of my book and I finished it, I finished it, I finished the first book so I'm really glad that I finished it and now I can start a new book and tonight I'm going to start to watch the first series of Game of Thrones, I have seen it before but I said I was going to read the books and then watch the series as well as I'm working my way through them. So I'm looking forward to starting Game of Thrones again. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do tonight. So it was brilliant. I really loved it. I will talk more about it in depth when I do my book review at the end of the month. But yeah, it took me quite a while to get through it. I'm not going to lie. Um... It took me a bit so yeah i am happy that i finished it now and i can start the next one probably not going to do it next month i probably leave it a month and go through some of my other books that i want to read but yeah really really happy that i finished it so um yeah so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to have something to eat i'm going to settle down it's the first night i've been in since Tuesday so it's the first time that I've actually been able to sit on the couch and watch some stuff so I'm looking forward to doing that I am going to have something nice to eat and then I'm going to have some ice cream and I'm going to sit and watch Game of Thrones and I'm just going to chill and then that's it I think I'm going to end the vlog here and um, tomorrow I'm going to have a day off I'm absolutely exhausted this week has been so intense um I'm so tired so yeah I'm going to have tomorrow off I think I'm just going to spend the day reading and I will be back on Monday um with this video so yeah um I hope everybody has enjoyed it I don't really do these very often but if you do want to see me do more of these then I'm happy to do them and yeah it's just been nice to be able to check in with you every now and again and just let you know how my day is going and what I've been up to and yeah it's been fun so 